Hey guys, today we're going to use Affinity Photo to create this text effect. It's really nice. We will dim the background photo, make it black and white, and then the same photo inside the text area will be in color. I just recently saw that on some Facebook ad and I think to myself, wow, that's look really nice. And it's also really easy to mimic using our favorite Affinity Photo. If this is your first time on my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I'm posting tutorial every week related to affordable creative software like Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. All right, let's get started. I already loaded my photo here. And the first thing I will need to do is to duplicate this. Right click on the layer, duplicate. All right, here's a copy of the photo. I will switch off the visibility of it for a moment. And the original photo, I will turn it black and white using this filter here. All right, so we got this adjustment layer. We can easily turn it black and white. We can do some modification sliders or just keep it as it is. Next, I can click Merge to add this adjustment layer into the image layer itself. All right. I still keep the color copy above hidden, so that's still there. Now I will add a layer effect to this black and white layer. I will add color fill. Yes, I need a black color with some noise, so let's add noise using the slider but I want to reduce opacity here, maybe just 20 or 30 percent, depends on the image. Okay, so we turn it black and white and dim a little bit. Now it's time to add our text. So using the typing tool, we can type any text you want. In my case, this will be affinity. I can stretch to make it larger, select the text and modify the font. I think like bulky font will be the best here. Something like that will do in my case. I can make it even larger. All right. Align to the center. And now I will put the colorful copy, the colorful picture inside the layer with the text. Not below, but inside like this. All right, can you see it? Now I can see the colorful photo, but only where it's overlapping with the text. To make this even stronger, we can add layer effects to the text to make some kind of border or stroke around to separate those two photos. So I will add a white stroke. I will change the blending mode to overlay like this. Maybe also some kind of white glow around it as well. Okay. Not bad. Of course, it all depends on your raw material, on your original image. I can go back to the original image here and I can make this black color even stronger. I can also use some blur. I can blur it slightly. That would be nice as well. So this text will pop. And use more of this black color. If you cannot see your text clearly, you can do it as well. And this is a really easy text effect. And I think the final result is really nice. So we got this black and white image and the duplicate of the image, but in color inside the text. That's cool. You can play with additional layer effects like I'm doing it now, adding some kind of shadow inside make it even stronger contrast like this all right i hope this is useful for you and please check my other tutorials i got more than 40 tutorials about affinity photo all right i will see you in my next tutorial bye